Welcome, friends, to another riveting tale in the realm of the peculiar. Today, we dive into an enthralling saga of justice, bureaucracy, and, pennies? Yes, you heard it right. This is the story of the 50 pesa battle, a legal duel that spanned a whopping 40 years over a mere 5 pesa discrepancy. 5 pesa, for those unfamiliar, is half of a 10 pesa coin, a denomination so small that it's currently out of circulation in India. Imagine a court case dragging on for four decades over half a penny. It seems impossible, but it's a tale rooted in reality, revealing startling intricacies of bureaucratic systems. Our protagonist is a humble bus conductor from India. Forty years ago, a passenger accused him of embezzling an extra five pesa on a ten pesa bus ticket, sparking a legal battle that would span a lifetime. An ordinary man entangled in an extraordinary predicament. This conductor's story brings to light the complexities and intricacies of the Indian legal system and the struggles of the common man. But before we proceed, let's paint a picture of the time when this dispute began. The 1970s in India was a time of economic struggle and political turmoil. The country was striving to establish its identity on the global map. The value of 5 pesa was much higher then, given the country's inflation rate of about 7%, which was significantly higher than the global average of 4.19%. Literature from that time indicates that a 5 pesa coin could buy you a cup of tea, which might not sound like much, but in a country where nearly 60% of the population earned less than 1 rupee a day, it was a significant amount. Now, picture this. A crowded bus, the conductor moving from passenger to passenger, tirelessly issuing tickets. Amid this chaos, a passenger claimed to have been charged an extra 5 pesa. The conductor, adamant of his innocence, found himself lodged in a quagmire of legal battles that went on for a mind-boggling 40 years. This microcosmic incident, seemingly insignificant in the grand scheme of things, gradually unveiled the labyrinth and nature of the Indian judiciary. Interestingly, the World Justice Project's Rule of Law Index 2019 ranks India at 68th position out of 128 countries. The report highlighted that it takes an average of nearly 20 years to resolve a civil dispute from the date of filing to final decision in the Indian courts. Our bus conductor's case, however, doubled this average, reflecting the frighteningly slow pace of justice delivery. The riveting story of the 50 pace of battle also mirrors the personal experiences of millions of Indians trapped in the snail pace legal system. It's not uncommon to hear testimonials from citizens who've spent years, sometimes even their entire lives, entangled in the country's judiciary. This conductor's story could very well have been the story of any common man in that era. However, this narrative is not all doom and gloom. There's an element of resilience and perseverance that permeates this tale. The bus conductor, an ordinary man, embroiled in a legal dispute for half his life, is a testament to the human spirit's capacity to fight, endure, and hope. It is, in a sense, an underdog story, where the protagonist battles against a formidable antagonist, the behemoth of bureaucratic complexities. As we conclude this bewildering tale, it's crucial to reflect on the implications of this 50 pesa battle. On one hand, it's a stark reminder of the dire need for judicial reforms, particularly in countries like India, where the sheer volume of pending cases is overwhelming. On the other hand, it's a testament to the resilience and determination of common people, who, faced with the complexities of bureaucracy, continue to fight for their rights. Sources and references for this story include the Economic and Political Weekly, the World Justice Project's Rule of Law Index, and historical archives of Indian newspapers. For a more in-depth understanding of India's economic and political climate during the 1970s, India After Gandhi by Ramachandra Gua is a highly recommended read. There you have it, folks. A bewildering tale of five pesa, a bus conductor, and a 40-year-long legal battle. A story that underscores the need for systemic reform while celebrating human resilience. If you enjoyed this journey, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your fellow history and trivia enthusiasts. Stay curious, stay informed, and as always, keep exploring the extraordinary in the ordinary. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, sharing it with others, and subscribing to our channel for more interesting material. In the comments area below, we'd love to hear your views and opinions on this topic. Thank you for your support, and we hope to bring you more intriguing stories and puzzles from around the world in the future. Remember to stay informed, interested, and safe.